Demo, it's good to be back. Uh, and this time around, uh, I brought my power meter. You have the fancy new power meter. And in today's video, my goal is to compare how something that's been on the market for, uh, I think, seven or eight years to something that's apparently attuned to the blue spectrum LED light. How do the two of them compare? Whether I should throw this one out into the garbage and also we're going to go and try different light spectrums and a few people have questioned um, whether demo is running six to seven hundred power on his acro tank so we'll um, call him to task uh, in see. this video we'll see if uh, let's see if we hit the mark okay let's start with the uh, what is it, a mixed LPS slash softy tank? Yeah, so this is our mixed uh, LPS softies, frags, spring corals, all that type of stuff. And in the previous in the previous video, we were saying it was what, about 150 par if our... Uh... Yeah, this was what we considered a, a much lower par tank, around 130 to 180 at the most, average around 150. Okay, so I've got mine in. So I am running, so, uh, okay, first of all, this model that I'm using, this is the MQ 200 uh, Apogee. Which one do you have? I have the MQ 510. 510. So this is the latest and greatest and the one that's supposed to supposed to pick everything up. Yeah, it's supposed to pick up uh, all the deep blues and uh, the lower nanometer spectrum. So we should get a much more accurate reading under LED lighting. Plus you are running this as, you know, this is your regular, what, eight hour uh, schedule. Mm -hmm. This is what you are cooking these corals under. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm running it under the electric mode because I think this is what you're supposed to do with the LED. The new one doesn't even have that thing, so you don't have sun or electronic switch. And I'm showing 160 par, which is very similar to what we got last time. What so, are you showing? So if I go in that exact same yes. spot, yeah. I'm getting 190. 190. That's 189, 190. Sure, yeah. Hold on. 180, yeah, 185. So a little bit higher on this one. And that tells me that if I were to, and uh, yours is definitely a lot more accurate. So I'm, I need to compensate for that with uh, my system. Okay, so system number one, let's go to your Euphilia tank. And when I say Euphilia, in this case, it's torches, 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 every, oh my goodness, every single um, variety, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so what are we cooking your torches under? I'm showing, actually very similar, I'm showing 185, which is pretty much what we had in the last video. Nothing has changed. Maybe let me make sure that it's pointing up. And no, actually I am, it's a little bit hard to do that uh, like, like this. Okay, so I am 240, so 240, 245. What are you at? I'm reading 280, 280 to 290. 280 to 290, yes. So again, that's what, about 15, 20% yeah. higher? Which is yeah. a decent amount, especially when you get the corals that are in lower light, that can't really handle too much. Very cool, and looks like your torches and even gonies, look at that, so like all of them are totally fine under that fairly high par if you think about it that's close to 300 par yeah on the right side here on your left uh, yeah. it's a little lower on 215 210 and then as yeah. we go more over it's definitely gonna be 140 120 but there's much less light in that side of the tank so that's the drop off yeah but those torches easily 300 mm -hmm. par and now drum roll let's look at the acro tank this is the one that we're the most curious about so let's maybe place them right here Just on this rack. where you are doing the frags and I'm seeing look at this everyone 530 so depending on how I position it 100 540 530 par where uh, you're cooking it I'm getting over 600 we're 620 okay so this is to whoever uh, in the comments said that that's not the case it's pretty close to 600 oh, sorry 700 in my book so 630 par and <laughs> I cannot even comprehend that. There's uh, some spots here, like this, this acro is getting almost 700. 
Yes. Yeah, we're getting up there with light over here. This is quite a bit. Oh my goodness. 640, 630. If we come to the surface of the water right here, yeah. right at the top, it's over <laughs> 1200, 1100. Wow. So a lot so, of light in this yes. tank. This is this is high, so and this is still underwater. Yeah. And I'm curious, uh, can you point over here where you have the torches off to the side? So how much of a spill off? Like maybe just on the rack them. up here? Yeah. So on the rack. Yeah. Oh wow. Uh, right there. Yeah. Six hundred and seventy par. So six sixty, six seventy. Wow. So even if you're putting things on the side, that actually is, there's yeah. If anything, uh, they're getting at least as yeah, much. Yeah, they're in the six hundred so. there. That's that's a lot of light. Okay, so I think that's uh, already an achievement. We basically have shown where the par is at, and what kind of conclusion am I drawing so far? Um, so what was I was about five forty. Uh, you were. So in this area, yeah. I'm at about 620. Okay, so let me just turn it back on once again. Yeah, so 540 on mine, 620 on yours. And again, I'll do the calculations uh, later, but it should be about 20%, right? So 615, 620, it's bouncing up and down. Okay, this is definitely our first rodeo. So we're still a little bit clumsy and new at this, but we've positioned the two of them side by side. They're static. Uh, it's a little bit lower par off to the left because clearly there's only uh, two radians above it. But you can actually see the two lights and we've got 420 and 490, uh, 425, 490 on the two of them. So this is your regular spectrum. And uh, Dimo, what's the um, kind of the breaking of the uh, lights here? Maybe you can so show So if we it. look at the current schedule, yeah. let's give it a second to load here. Mobius, Mobius. So these are the color spectrums. UV, violet, royal, and blue are at 100. Cyan is 75%. Yep. Uh, green and lime are there because there is one pro in the middle. They're at 6%. Yep. Red is at 8. And whites are 0. Okay. So this is your uh, secret sauce. This is your spectrum. I'm actually trying out on one of my tanks. And I really like what I'm seeing so far. So thanks for showing it. And I appreciate everybody who downloaded uh, the schedule. So the one in the middle is pro, the other two are just regular uh, blues. blues. Yeah. And this is Gen 5. Yeah. Okay, now let's maybe use the color slider in the Kelvin mm -hmm. thing there. And we'll go, let's start with first with 10K. Okay, so let's go to live demo real yeah. quick. Perfect. So that's 10K. Okay, so we're at 10K. I'm using the orange filter right now because we're going to go uh, in deeper blues, but Right now, we are more concerned about what we're seeing and the accuracy. So under 10K, thank you, uh, yeah. uh, we are seeing kind of the same difference. So 270 and 300 between uh, the two of them. So that's 10%. So that's a 10% uh, difference. Okay. So now let's go to 14K. And under 14K, we've got obviously higher par, 350 and uh, almost 400, which is weak. This is where I think we start seeing these discrepancies. So instead of just 10%, I think that number has increased. Uh, let's go 18, 18K. All right, and the 18K, we've got 400 and 470. Okay, we are kind of at the same uh, percentage is starting to drift, uh, drift a little bit more and now let's go blue so what's the highest blue that's at 20,000 this is with cyan though so yes. if we do remove the cyan yes. it will darken yeah so so let's do 20k first yep that's 20k so 20k this is kind of the maximum um, in the Kelvin slider uh, and we are 500 on the right on the new one 430 on the uh, left on the old one and now let's let's do uh, remove all of the channels except for the ultraviolet or the indigo ones okay. so let's actually see how so well this is just UV this is just the UV and this is only one of them right yeah, so just the one perfect so one just UV it's hard to see here but we've got 20 on the left and 26 on the right so it's pretty consistent in terms of um, just always underperforming there mm -hmm. for that. 
Okay, uh, let's add the um, the next indigo so channel. We'll do violet. So I'll remove the, the UV. Yes. And we'll do just violet. Just violet. And the violet here is 54 on the left, on the right, and 40 on 41 on the left. So this is okay. This is a little bit easier to see right here. Okay. Let's do just royal blue now. Royal blue. This is the one that I personally don't like too much, but um, okay, 210 and 245. Again, very consistent um, in terms of uh, the markup. Right, and we'll do just their blue. So it has the blue. And the blue. Oh, very close. Are actually very close. So I guess this is the where the difference is, right? So the deeper we go, the more of a discrepancy there is. 140 versus 145, very close. Now we'll do just the cyan channel. Just the cyan. Notice that the pro doesn't have it, so it's off. Almost identical. Almost. Oh my goodness. Now, <laughs> this is exciting. Okay, they are identical. Um, next, we're going to do the green and then the lime for the pro, just because it's pretty much the same. Yeah, so perfect. And again, we've got identical. Um, Okay, so maybe I'm not going to throw this thing out into garbage yet. The reds. Okay, the reds over here. A little bit of a discrepancy there. Um, what are we? It's hard to see. 18, 18 and 24. And 24. So the red, it's not as good as picking up. Not massive. And then all whites. And this is all whites. So the whites. Bigger difference than I would think. Yes. So for whatever reason, uh, the old one doesn't quite pick up. It's about 10% there. But that's exactly 10%. Did we miss anything else? No, that's it. I think that's it. So, I think this is the most unscientific but awesome test that I've ever conducted. And this is the lights on 100% everything. Oh, that's a good one. I would have missed that. So, 100% on all of them. You're cooking at 640 in one of them and 560 on the other. So that, that is a pretty, pretty big difference to be reading. Yes, total. Now, I know that there's the whole conversion factor, and um, I think this is where you're supposed to multiply it because of the refraction of the water. But in the end, I think the whole goal of the video is to, A, if you have a buddy or store that has the old one, this is, hopefully is going to be very useful for you to know how much to adjust it by. Or if you are um, happy, lucky enough to live not far from Dima, or you, I think you even ship, Mm -hmm. I think you can rent uh, this awesome new unit from uh, reefparadise.ca. Yeah, we do rent it out. You guys can contact us, uh, send us an email at info at reefparadise.ca or just message us on Facebook or Instagram and we do rent it out. That is awesome. So, uh, Dima, this is uh, a pretty cool test and at least now, like honestly, I'm ready to take this parameter home and try it on all of my aquariums and I know that roughly it underperforms about 10. Uh, maybe if I'm going more in the blue, I'm getting closer to what, 15%? Yeah. I gotta just mark it up and that would be my ballpark. Mm -hmm. But I was actually, before we kind of started this, I was thinking it would be like 30, 40, 50%. Yeah, I thought it would be a much bigger difference, but it, it's pretty close to me knowing now that we know the difference between the two because we've tested them. Yeah. People using the older units are um, a little bit more aware if you weren't able to do this test, then I mean, we really have no idea, which we'd assume the newer one is the best way to go. Yeah. Okay, um, finally, let's take a look at your display tank. And this is the one where, what am I looking at right now? This is your, what, this three, is, four hours? This is our peak, uh, yeah. peak, let's just call it peak power, midday uh, for an hour and a half, we're sitting at this spectrum where all the blues are at 100, the cyan's at 100, UV, violet are 100, Greens and reds stay the same, and then whites are what go to 100%. Oh, nice. So one and a half hours of this lighting, we, okay. had, a, we had someone say they did not think there's 700 par in this tank. Okay, so I, let's start with mine first. So I'm at, <laughs> I'm at the 620, so <laughs> that is already... And keep in mind, this is against the overflow box, so not directly under the lights. Yeah. I'm over 700. There you go. So you are really cooking your acros under this light. So we're, they're pretty close and yeah. if we take my, my meter here and we bring it directly under the lights, yeah. I'm getting 
850 par. That's about halfway th down the tank. <laughs> so these guys are getting cooked. If I go right above some of these corals, we're getting 840. 840 par. Yeah, we're getting which, a lot of light. Which kind of makes sense. I remember, um, you know, starting out in the hobby over 10 years ago and it was not unheard of to be cooking your acros at a thousand par. Um, it's yeah. totally fine. I mean, like if we look at this green slimer, yeah, this guy's getting. <laughs> at the take, tips. take a guess. Oh uh, well, <laughs> almost fifteen hundred par. <laughs> and yeah, so like, look at that. No joke. This is uh, right next to it. And and what's crazy is like this forest fire digi over here. Yes, this, this is what I'm curious about. This guy for a Monty is getting. 900 par and <laughs> and it's still it's uh, out of the water and it's got the uh, the polyps galore yeah like, and it's just amazing um, how much is getting uh, let's say that uh, Monty in the back there the um, sunset yeah. we'll angle it slightly because yeah it's realistically what it's getting uh, we're getting just over 220 230 it's interesting how much of a drop of it is just Kind of, yeah, you, you go lose a lot. These are XR 15s on the end, yeah, they don't really spread too wide. Yes. Um, and they're only wow, they're the stock height, so I think it's nine inches, yes. Um, versus the other coral table, I have it lower or higher, I can adjust mm -hmm. it. Like this rainbow loom in the back here, which is attached to the back glass, yep, it's getting 300, 330, so a little bit more. So, quite a difference between the middle of the tank and 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 there, so that's uh. Pretty crazy for people who are starting out in a hobby sometimes you know you have a lot less of a spotlight effect but still okay and like your prime um, location right here this is where some of the acros Almost are 800 800 yeah. par but keep in mind that's only for uh, an hour and a half, an hour and a half. so uh, let's see um, where we are yeah so like on a regular eight hour schedule so what are we what are we here? Still uh, about 640. So we're getting about 100, 150 yeah. increase, which is what I was, roughly what I was saying. I was thinking yes. it was giving us around, uh, just over 100. That's hilarious. And uh, so still, it's like instrumental, like monumental. Uh, yeah. It's it's very, very high par. And that uh, Monty down there is the same thing. Like, look at how luscious this is. I was always thinking, oh, you need to give it like 150 par because... Um, you know, Montes don't like the strong light, but you are getting oh, over 300. 350, over. so and very it looks nice. Exactly the same as the one getting, you know, six or 700 close to the top. And the Fox Flame probably is gonna getting the same thing. Uh, right? The Fox Flame. Yes. This guy yeah. is getting about 400. 400 par, and look at that. It's uh, it's looking pretty pretty good. Okay, bottom. Uh, let's um, let's look at what's going on there. So sand bed. Yes, sand board. bed. Oh. This is trying to angle the sky. This is not easy. I like how it angles though, eh? This yes. is pretty convenient. A little bit of photo bombing. That's always a good thing. Oh, he's excited. Okay, so we are <laughs> 480, <laughs> 470 par, and this is where you've got not even torches, this is your hammers. Hammers, frog spawns. Oh my goodness. There's a nice uh, glitter gun in here. Yes. That's getting 500 par. 500 par and even in this cave like if we go under here wow like if I put a coral here it's still getting 190 par it's underneath the rock underneath the rock on the sand which bed, is 130 that's a lot which is pretty crazy okay if that is not a master class in par I don't know what this so uh, really excited that uh, we got a chance to shoot this uh, video today well, Dimo, uh, thanks a lot for having us over and uh, lending your power meter. I think we've learned a thing or two, and I'm really curious what uh, our viewers uh, have to say about this. So please write your comments below, and we'll make sure to answer them together with Dimo. No problem. It's great having you guys again.